Hey guys, I'm interrupting this video real quick to say a couple things. So first, I wanted to say sorry because I haven't made a video in a while. I have a bunch of videos recorded and stuff, but I don't have them edited. It has been, it's a lot to edit and I don't know how a lot of daily vloggers do it, but this is the Boxer Fest Prep Part 1 video. The car totally transforms, put some pictures in here of the before and then the after. The next thing is uh, we dropped some, some merch. We have everything from lanyards to wristbands and stickers and banners and we are currently waiting on the jet tags to get in. And if you're not a car guy or need something done, we do custom stickers and custom banners. I have a couple custom banners here in the room. Go check it out. Um, the last thing is we will be uh, I will be uploading a video every Tuesday and Thursday now, 4:30. Eastern Standard Time. Um, I'm really trying to get back in the habit of it. I really like uh, making videos. It's just editing that really kills me. I'm going to try to edit almost every day and get it up there and ready for you. Go watch it. Hey guys, I just got home from work and this showed up at my house. So I'm going to let you guess. Put it down in the comments before I open it. I'm going to open it in a minute or two. I couldn't be more happy with my decision and thank you to Josh at Import Image Racing and the uh, house I just got home so we will go and box everything. Guys here's one box. I have one more over there and a set of something. I'm gonna put surprise but I'm not gonna put anything as to what it is you're gonna have to watch the video. So for seeing this right now you're gonna know what it is. So I'm gonna open this box right here and just one of them probably for right now. and. Show you what's inside. Okay guys, I have one of the boxes and here it is. I bought wheels. So I decided it was time to change the look of Crystal. And you know, since it comes with a nice bag, it's a nice quality product. I went white. So this is the biggest surprise to me or for me is I went white on white and I couldn't be happier with my decision. Look how clean these things are. Gonna look so nice on the car. I cannot wait. So I have four of them, and I'm gonna show you the center caps right now. So I got black center caps with a little chrome accent. Okay, so before I go to the other boxes, this is a 18 by 9.5. So I cannot put this tire on this wheel because it'll stretch. And I wanna tell you right now, I needed these tires. Um, sorry, these wheels because two of my lug nuts are stripped, so it will not stay. And I have couldn't drive the car, I've been driving my dad's car for a week and a half now because I don't wanna wreck the studs on this, so I just let it sit here. So we're gonna about to, about to have a really cold start when I pull it into the driveway, or into the garage. Gotta take the front bumper off to do it though because I'm too low. So let's go to the next box. So. If you knew I got 8, 19, or 18 by 9.5, you know I have to get new tires. So, let's come over to the next box. So, here they are. I got Firestone Indy Hawk 500s in the 20 or 265-35-18s. One of the last sets they have. They discontinued this tire because Firestone's coming out with new tires. So, I had to get these before they discontinued one of the best maximum performance tires they were had on tire rack so i couldn't find anywhere locally i couldn't find it anywhere in boston I took a trip up to boston so i had to increase the size and it's going to help me anyway because i don't want the lip sticking out the lip's going to stick out a little bit and it would totally wreck the lip of my tires so now with the 265 it's gonna be a little meatier and it's just gonna run a lot better. So these are the Firehawks and I got one of the last two sets. So couldn't be more happier. Can't wait to see what Firestone's coming out with next. And let's move to the next package. So when you see this next package, you're gonna know what it is before I even have to open it. So here it is. You know I had to do it. So I got BC Racing coilovers to go with my new tires the car is gonna be extremely low and guys it's about to be an eventful weekend so i gotta take these wheels and tires down my buddy david david is going to mountain balance them for me 
and then I got some other stuff I have to do too to the car so you'll have an eventful weekend I'll probably have cameras set up all the way around the car just because we're doing a lot of stuff so wow so this is a big surprise and I'm so excited hey guys remember how I said I haven't drove my car in like a week and a half maybe two weeks you ready for this cold start So I took my front bumper off. I'm gonna run a no bumper from now on. What do you think? It looks a little more mean. Nah, just kidding. So guys, like I said, I took the front bumper off so I wouldn't scrape my nice new front lip. So my plans for this weekend are, I have a few parts to install. Guys, I am out here in the garage. It's late and I am putting one coat of wax on every wheel so that when these white wheels go on this white car, they're not gonna look brown because they collect so much dirt. So I ended up buying Brake Dust Pro from dipyourcar.com. Really good wheel cleaner. You literally just spray on the wheels and it falls off. So I put a coat on these so that when I do that, I can put the dip your car on there the brake dust pro and just it'll just fall off it literally in purple just falls off the wheel so i uh have three done and i'm waiting on the last one and i just wanted to show you a cosmos racing t-shirt and a sticker they sent me so thank you to josh at import image import image racing and also thank you to cosmos racing for making a quality product <laughs> Woo! <laughs>